Welcome to Maths Mathematics with M's, Grade 12, Calculus, Rates of Change, and Motion. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Let's look at some theory on the calculus of motion. The S of T represents an equation of motion, so that can be height, distance, displacement at a certain time T. S prime t, that is the first derivative, represents velocity or speed at time t. And then S with a double prime t means second derivative represents acceleration at time t. Consider the following situation of an object moving from its position at O to A and then back to position C. If the object moves from O to A, have a look now, from O to A, we say that its displacement from O is 6 units or plus 6, because plus means moving from left to right. If the object now moves in the opposite direction to position C, we say that its displacement from A to C is negative 4, that means a movement to the left. The object displacement from the position O after moving from O to A and then to C is plus 6 plus a negative 4. So the total displacement is a positive 2. The total distance moved from O to A to C is 10 units. Distance is always positive because it doesn't take direction into consideration. So please take note. Displacement does take direction into consideration and can therefore be positive or negative. Velocity is speed in a given direction. If the object moves in one direction, say from left to right, let's say from B to A, we can define its velocity to be positive. If the object moves in the opposite direction from A to B, the velocity would then be negative. The speed of the objects independent of the direction of movement. In the next exercise, you will be required to use these concepts. Further applications of rates of change and motion. By now, it will be clear to you that the rate of change of one variable with respect to another can be represented as a derivative. A rate of change can be positive or negative. For example, if the volume of, an, of air in a balloon is increasing and the radius of the spherical balloon is expanding, then the rate of change of volume with respect to the radius of the spherical balloon is positive. However, if air escapes, from the balloon, then the rate of change is negative. The volume of water in a horse tight, uh, throth, or trough is governed by the equation Vt is 20t minus t squared for t an element of 0 and to 20. So the, the confines is 0 to 20, where V is the volume of the water in cubic meters and t is the time in minutes. The graph of this equation is represented on your right hand side. Now A, determine the volume at T2. Secondly, determine the rate of change of volume at T equals to 2. Explain what is happening by referring to the graph. C, determine the time in which the volume is maximum. D, determine the rate of change of the volume at T equals to 16. Explain what is happening by referring to the graph. So, A, volume, the Vt is then given as 20t minus t squared. So, volume at time 2 is straightforward substitution. Replace t by 2 and then you get your answer. Volume at time 2 will be 36 cubic meters. Then the second question B, Vt is 20t minus t squared. So you find the first derivative, which is then 20t minus 2t, and then replace t with a 2, and you get 16 cubic meters per minute. 
The volume of water in the trough is increasing. So the derivative is positive. And then C, again, derivative, which is 20 minus 2 d squared at maximum. So at you let you let the derivative be 0 for a maximum. Then solve for T and you get it at 10 minutes. Notice that the tangent at T10 is horizontal, which occurs at the maximum turning point on the graph. Here the derivative is 0. The volume is a maximum at T10. And then the last one, D, Vt is 20 minus 2T. Then, of course, they said at 16. So replace T with a 16. And then the, the volume Vt of 16 is a negative 12 cubic meters per minute. So the volume of water in the trough is decreasing because the derivative is negative. Right, I would like you to look at the following examples. Please work through them. Make sure you understand them. And then I will give you the solutions later on. So here are the solutions of the examples. Please make sure that you can do them and that you get the same answers. Remember, practice makes perfect. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this little short video and on motion. This is uh, Ahmed Suleiman from uh, Mathematics with M's. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe.